What's up guys, this is Will Wu with PragerU. Today we're at California State University Northridge. Again, you guys remember this campus. And we're talking to women about the wage gap and whether they think it's real. Let's do it. Do you think the gender wage gap is real? I do. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I do. Why do you think that? Um, I believe it because I've seen research in classes that I've actually taken here. How do you stop the gender wage gap? That's a great question. Um, I think we have to take a look at our government and our understanding of capitalism and consumerism and kind of start working there and work backwards. If you had like a business, you know what I mean, and they could pay women 77 cents for every dollar that a man would make, that would be like capitalism. So they would hire all women. Uh, I suppose in a sense I'm following what you're saying, but... I think they probably couldn't do that because then they would be accused of being sexist against men. That's true. That's why the whole gender wage gap thing seems a little weird. Do you think that women might get paid less because they choose jobs to pay less? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think anybody chooses a career where they would make less money than possible. I don't think that's like a women choosing issue. I think that there's issues within academia as well that we're not doing a great job at promoting women in those fields. You mad at me? Mm, not yet. Disappointed? I've given pretty good evidence, <laughs> so. It's clear that you've done your research. Yeah. If I said that male nurses make more than female nurses. I think th that's a huge issue. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think that is? Why do I think males make more than females? I have no idea. They shouldn't. They make more because they work longer hours and they are more willing to move for better positions. I think that that's true. I think that it is a lot of the times highly situational. I think that's the conclusion that I'm coming to for by what you're saying. So I think that society has kind of driven women to be attracted to one or more different um, job fields. Women are like expected to stay home for their kids and yada 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 for like their family but like men don't have that you know like yeah. burden. Do you think women would rather choose to do that than then keep up with men in these high paying jobs and try and compete with men? I think women just have more of a heart to like take care of their family than to decide on, you know, continuing their work. Why do you think that men choose that and women don't? Because women have more of a heart than men do. There you go, I agree. I agree. Women and men make different career choices because women are better than men. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad he finally owned up to that. The wage gap is not due to sexism or something, you know, that you can't control. It's it's based on the choices that men and women make, and that's why there's a gap between but pay. The choices that men and women make sometimes are driven by the opportunities that they have, which is driven by sexism. There are lots of choices that are being made for us because the opportunities aren't there. Right now in STEM fields, it's like three to one women are favored for jobs over men. But that's not being shown right now in the leadership. Well, maybe it's not as big as we think it is. It's like clearly smaller incidents yeah. where the situation happens, but maybe it's not as large. Yeah. Hey, there's no denying that there's sexism in the world or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But the way that I see it is, you know, why hinder your business by hiring men for a dollar when you could pay women 77 cents for every dollar? You know what I mean? If you're a business owner, all you want is money. So sexism really has no place in capitalism. And that, that's... Sorry to interrupt. Um, um, we're from the licensing office and there's certain rules when it comes to like filming. We just want to know where, where your group was from. We're from Prager University. We're a non-profit. Okay. And did you, did you have permission to film? No. This is a public campus. So you, so you, because normally you have to go through our communications office, like when news crews come on campus, in mm -hmm. order to get permission to, to film. Yeah. No, this is a public campus, okay. so you're you're allowed to be on a public campus and no, film. No, I yeah, know, yeah, I yeah. know that. I yeah. know that. Yeah, we didn't get permission. So you guys are from Prager University. Prager U. Yep. Okay. One second. Yeah. No, they can't shut us down. It's a public university. Call the cops. Okay guys, we just finished up here at California State University Northridge and we found that pretty much every single woman that we talked to believed that the wage gap was 100% real and that it's caused by sexism. Even when presented with the facts that women and men make different lifestyle choices, which is what causes the wage gap, it's very hard to change these people's minds, but at least we're able to educate some people and enlighten some people along the way. So thank you guys for watching. This is Will Wee with PragerU. Follow me and PragerU on social media and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.